Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super special to me. The most special part is I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a piece of artwork that my daughter did for me. And since it's for my dining area, I'm gonna finish up with some full decorating in this space and a little bit in my kitchen. So let's get started. If you've been following me for a while, you guys would have been on the journey with me as I've been changing my home one room at a time. In last week's video, I shared my living room makeover using only furniture I flipped. I've also shared in the past my flipped dining room set. This is an open space and it's really starting to come together, although there are quite a few projects left to be done. One of the main projects left to do is this buffet. I'm gonna to totally transform this to fit the rest of the space. Right now, it's the color doesn't work, the style doesn't work, but I am ready to decorate for the fall, so I'm just gonna work around it. Once this gets done, it's gonna look amazing in here. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. Let's get into all that we're gonna to do today. The first thing I'm gonna share with you guys is that painting that my daughter did. I had had this piece of canvas for years. I picked it up at Michael's, it was on sale, and I intended to do something on it. I just never got around to it. So when she was here over the summer, I had had it with this piece of canvas. In fact, I had nowhere to put it. For this dining area, I wanted something for this wall. I wanted a landscape and all earthy tones, lots of browns and greens. We went in my clothes, we picked up some paint, a couple of brushes. She found a picture online that was close enough to what I was explaining and used it as a guide. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy two minutes of the process just to see it all come together. Are you guys ready to see how this turned out? Gorgeous. I am not gonna lie, I was completely astonished that she was able to capture this so precisely. The colors were on point and she did this in less than two hours. I'm so proud of her. So now it's time to decorate the space. Now. You guys would notice that this is a little bit off center to the buffet. I purposely do that because the ceilings are very tall, and so I like to put a big uh, something tall on this end. And I feel when this is centered, it sort of blocks it. So people that like symmetry is probably not going to work, but for me it works, and I'm going to show you guys how I put it together. Now, if you remember when I redid my bedroom. This was the lamp that I tried to do the new shade for. I share that with you guys. Uh, I still have the lamp. I got some new shades for it. And I really wanted to bring this out and use it for this time of year because the color is so beautiful. But it is a little bit too short. 
short for this area. I need something that goes a little bit higher. So I'm gonna swap it with the lamp that I use in the living area. I'm gonna take that lamp and I'm gonna put this one over there. I like the way that this brass looks with the colors in the painting. It's still a little bit short, so I'm gonna get some books so that I can elevate this a little bit. And I do need to get a new shade for this. because This one is, you could, it's, it's, it's about to fall apart. So I'm gonna elevate this and then I'm just gonna put a couple of things and then we're gonna do the dining table. This is a little uh, cutting board that I got at Home Goods months ago. It was inexpensive, but I really like the detail of the type of wood. It's a little bit dry. I haven't really used it for anything, so I'm just gonna use it to help me get some height on this lamp. This is the other one to the pair of candle stands that I thrifted some time ago. I used one on the entry table, so I'm just gonna use the other one over here just to give some cohesiveness to the area. So I'm not sure what else I wanna add to this area, but I'm gonna do the dining table and then I'll look at it all together and see if we need to add anything. So I got these bundles at Trader Joe's yesterday. This here looks a little bit like, I'm not sure what it is, but they just label it fall accents. And I love the colors. And this is some fresh eucalyptus. So I am going to make an arrangement with this for the dining table. I have these two pictures vases, vases, not sure how to say it. This one is a sort of a burgundy color and this has a hint of green. I'm not sure which one I want to use. Which one would you guys choose? Let me know in the comments. I mean, I have to make a decision. Uh, this one is a little bit taller. I'm going to use some of the green in with it. I'm just wondering what would work best in the space. I have a preference for this one just because I like green and I like that it has that fresh clean look to it. So I'm thinking I might go with this one and just cut them down a little bit. I got this little tray while thrifting uh, a couple of weeks ago. It has this little stand. Oh, it actually does have the price on it still. $9.99. Those are hard to get off, those uh, permanent markers. And it has this like hammered finish to it. If you can see, I don't know if you can see that. It's really beautiful. So I think I'm going to use this here and just elevate this a little bit.
On to the kitchen area. This is my little stash of fall. Lots of thrifted finds, clearance, and sale items. I'm gonna add a little touch of fall to these floating shelves which are right above my coffee area. And a little something on that corner of the counter. I got these mugs at the Goodwill a couple of months ago. I love, love, love the color and I love the slanted rim on the top, if you guys can see. They're really beautiful. I've been using them for my coffee. I'm not even sure what they're really for, but I have been enjoying my coffee in these. So I'm gonna use, put this in this area. It also came with these two little jugs. I'm not really sure what you would use them for or if they're missing tops on them, but they were just so adorable. You guys remember when I thrifted this cheese board that was missing the knife? I was using it as a riser near the stove. So I'm thinking I'm gonna move this over on this side. I'm gonna put it here. This was also thrifted and I did put my sugar in here. So I'm gonna put that there. I don't know if maybe I'll put a couple of these up here, but for this area, I think I want just one piece on the top. And I'm thinking this basket. So pick this up at Hobby Lobby on clearance for just a few dollars. I also picked up these picks at Hobby Lobby. Uh, at 50% off. I don't remember their original price, but I love these. In fact, I've had these up for the later part of the summer and I was putting them away, but I love them so much. I figured they can still work for this time of year because I like, I like the browns, the greens, and I even like the white. I was thinking to kind of just put them laying down in here. I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it out. board I got this uh, some time ago at Hobby Lobby on sale I've had this for a while and I think I'm gonna put this here and since I have that painting over there I think it will work to have something small over here I also picked this up at Hobby Lobby Originally $17.99, $1.79. So this was when they had all their spring decor on at 90% off. Everything was super cheap, so I picked up a couple of things. Anyway, this looks to me like it's um, the Canyons. I've been there and it looks familiar. It looks like it is the Canyons. But I think that this would work nicely over here. So I think I'm just gonna lean this up next to it right here. And for me, I would stop there. That, that'll be it for me because I don't like a lot of things, but maybe I'll add a bit more and see how it goes. Because I'm gonna be using these mugs, I'm gonna put two of them right there. Maybe even add one of these. This and this I got at Michael's. And if you guys remember in one of my videos, I was showing, I went into Michael's for something else. And they had also summer clearance and these were significantly reduced. And I picked these up for this time of year because I love the colors. I think it works for this time. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use them this year. Maybe, maybe I'll just put this one here. I'll stop there for now and then I'll see how it all works together. I picked this up yesterday at the thrift store for $1.99 and I thought these were really neat. 
these are measuring spoons you can see this like one teaspoon here this one is a quarter teaspoon this side is another measurement and these are the cup measurements i think i'm gonna just take these off i'm gonna wash this up and then i'm gonna put it in there And that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed and if you haven't already be sure you subscribed like this video and let me know your thoughts in the comments i'll see you next week bye